Hey guys, it's Anne, and today we're gonna start doing our Christmas movie reviews, so stay tuned. Who doesn't love Christmas movies right now? They have a very predictable script. It's always about gushy, wushy, sentimental things, and it always ends happily ever after, usually with a kiss. Mwah. That's why I love Christmas movies. All romance, all love, it's perfect. Okay, so since my brain surgery, I'm probably watching about two to four Christmas movies a day, which means I have a lot to review, and I know that most of you don't have time to watch Christmas movies like I do. So this way, I can pick out all the best for you, and you can just choose to watch them. If you don't have cable television, no problem, because I watch Friendly TV, $7.99 a month. I get to record them and keep them just like this. And boy, do I have the stash. Now tonight, I wanna show you this. There's one on called A Timeless Christmas. That is gonna be so good. I can't wait to see it and review it. But right now, I'm gonna review the movie Cranberry Christmas. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna show you the whole movie, but let me just give you the highlights of the movie and you can decide whether or not you're gonna watch it. I really loved it and I loved it for the decorating. And here's why. You can see here, they start out, you can just even tell by their little teaser, all the beautiful dec decor in this movie. It's just so cool. You just have to watch it. So this is a movie basically about a couple who are estranged. They're not getting along. They've had some very good success with their business and they've lost touch with each other. And now they have to try to find each other through the movie. It comes with a little help from a TV producer who wants to do a show with them. And so she comes right into the town and there's no room in the inn. So she has to stay at their house. So they have to pretend like they're happily married and things just evolve from there. I don't usually watch husbands and wives who are estranged because seriously, I don't need the grief. And then as we go deeper into the movie, we also meet the loving sister who bakes Christmas cookies and wears a Christmas apron and is absolutely beautiful and has absolutely no love life herself. Now they have a barn and every year they do this Christmas bazaar in this barn. If you just take a look in this barn, they're gonna decorate this thing and it's gonna turn into a Christmas winter wonderland. I love that they have a gorgeous barn that they decorate and have a Christmas bazaar in. I love the front of their house and the inside of their house. And I love the sister's house. I love everything about it. I love all the scenes. I love the cranberries. It's all just super gorgeous. The inside of the house is beautiful. Look, everything she does is just gorgeous. She's putting a Christmas tree on the latte. I've watched this movie three times now. We of course have the proverbial Christmas cookie scene. So if you wanna watch a Christmas movie that is going to feel good and make you happy and give you some decorating boosts, this is the one for you. It's a feel good, happy movie. It's kind of like my YouTube channel, right? You really kind of like it. No room in the inn. 